In this lesson, I want to focus on adding and subtracting two numbers using scientific notation. So consider this example. 9 times 10 to the 3 minus 5 times 10 to the 3. What's the answer? Now what is 9x minus 5x? 9x minus 5x is 4x. Because both terms contain x, the same variable, you can simply subtract the coefficient. In this case, the 9 and the 5, they're attached to the same thing, 10 to the 3. So all you need to do is subtract the coefficient. So 9 minus 5 is 4. So this is simply going to be 4 times 10 to the 3. You can do that if these two are the same. So go ahead and try these examples. What's 7 plus, what's 7 times 10 to the 4? plus 2 times 10 to the 4, and 5 times 10 to the 6, minus 3 times 10 to the 6. So 7 plus 2 is 9, and then the 10 to the 4 will be carried over. So that's the first answer. 5 minus 3 is 2, and so we're going to carry over the 10 to the 6. And so that's a simple way to add or subtract two numbers in scientific notation. Now, what will you do if the exponents are different? So what is 12 times 10 to the 4 minus 4 times 10 to the 5? Right now, we cannot subtract 12 and 4 because these values are different. So what we need to do is to convert one into the other. So what I'm going to do is convert the smaller one into the larger one. So let's convert the 4 into a 5. Now, if you move the decimal to the left, what's going to happen to the exponent? Will it increase in value or decrease in value? Anytime you move the decimal to the left, the exponent will increase in value. As you move the decimal to the left, the number will decrease from 12 to 1.2. And so to undo that, to maintain balance, you need to increase the exponent. Likewise, if you increase the number by moving the decimal to the right, you need to decrease the exponent such that the value remains the same. So I'm going to move the decimal one unit to the left. And so 12 is going to decrease to 1.2. And so the exponent is going to increase by 1. So now that these two are the same, I both have the 10 to the 5 multiplier, I can now subtract these two numbers. So what is 1.2 minus 4? 4 minus 1.2 is 2.8. So 1.2 minus 4 is going to be negative 2.8. And then this is going to be times 10 to the 5. So that's the answer. Let's try another example. 3.6 times 10 to the 5 plus 2.7 times 10 to the 4. Go ahead and work on that example. So I'm going to convert the smaller exponent into the larger one. So I'm going to move this decimal one unit to the left. So I'm going to decrease 2.7 to 0.27. So I need to increase the exponent to maintain the same value. So this is going to be 0.27 times 10 to the 5. So since I have the same multiplier, I can now add 3.6 with 0.27. So this is going to be 7, 6 and 2 is 8, 3 and 0 is 3. So this is going to be 3.87 times 10 to the 5. And that's the solution. Now what about this one? 4.2 times 10 to the 7 plus 8 times 10 to the 5. Go ahead and pause the video. So I'm going to move this decimal two units to the right. 1, 2. So the exponent can increase by 2. So I'm going to have a 0 here. This is going to become 0 0.08 times 10 to the 7. 
And so now I can add it with 4.2. So 4.2 plus 0 0.08, that's going to be 4.28. So it's 4.28 times 10 to the 7. And that concludes that problem. Let's try one more. So 4.5 times 10 to the 7 minus 9.3 times 10 to the 5. So I'm going to move this one two units to the left so I can get a 7. This is going to increase by 2. So there's going to be a 0 here. And so this is going to be 0 0.093 as opposed to 0 0.93 times 10 to the 7. And so now let's subtract. What's 4.5 minus 0 0.093? So we need to add some zeros. Now we can't subtract 0 by 3 because that's going to be negative. So we need to borrow a 1 to make this 10. So we can't borrow 1 from 0 because it's nothing, but we can borrow a 1 from 50. So that's going to become 49. So this will be a 4, and this changes to a 9. So now 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 9 is 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. And this is also 4. So it's going to be 4.407 times 10 to the 7. So now you know how to add and subtract numbers using scientific notation.